Well, a mining sector in Ecuador, it's, it's, it's very important for us. Uh, I would start saying that, that it's an underdeveloped and underexplored country, meaning that there's lots of opportunities in, in Ecuador for mining companies in the different stages, exploring prospecting companies, mid-tier or major companies, because uh, we have the geology, we have the opportunities, we have great advantages like uh, high mineral grades, low cost of operation, access to electricity, but cheap electricity, access to water, low cost of, of labor. So everything is, is set up, the geology is good. Uh, we understood a year ago that we needed to work a bit in, on the tax burden. Our tax taxation was, was too high, so we, President Correa approved some uh, tax incentives that has allowed us to be in, a, in, a, in an average for the region. So the, the conditions we believe are, are, are set uh, like I said at the beginning, we're an underexplored country, so you can find many projects in Ecuador that you are not able to, to find in different countries in the region, like, like Peru or, or Chile, for example. So that gives us a, a, a great advantage, and we believe that that should be for interest for Australian companies. Thank you very much. The, 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 the most important projects, I would say, there are five that we have catalogized them as, as the strategic projects. Uh, first of all is Project Mirador, that's a copper project of about five 5,000 billion uh, pounds of, of copper. That project is owned by a Chinese company, uh, Corriente. They are in the stage of, of uh, construction of the mine, so we believe that they should start this year investing about 300 million dollars. That, that process will, will, will go through 2018 and that will go in production in 2018. Fruta del Norte, that is a world-class deposit called Deposit, operated by Landin Gold. Also, uh, there is a uh, completing the feasibility study and they will go into production on 2018 also. And there's two more projects, a uh, uh, gold project, uh, Rio Blanco in Azuay province and Loma Larga also in Azuay province, that they're in a feasibility uh, phase and should go uh, into production uh, uh, from 2018 forward. So those are the four main projects and we also have uh, but San Carlos Pananza, that is also owned by, by Ecuacorriente, the, the Chinese company, but they're in an in advanced exploration phase. Those are the main projects, and I would say that the, the main challenges they're facing is, is advancing the project. So that, the two main ones, and the more advanced, Mirador and Fruta del Norte, uh, have all of our support and, and, and our focus, because we believe that if they start in the proper way, the other projects will follow too. For, for them to do business in Ecuador, there's a, a couple of ways they should do it. First of all, we have opened the, the, the mining cadaster for new exploration areas. So they have three different ways they can get to, to, a, to an area. First of all, they can ask directly for a concession. And, and we as a ministry will, will require them just a, a mining plan and some special uh, things that they will need to, to, to fill, but they can get a concession. Uh, second, we have identified uh, 17 blocks that we're going to a public option, international option, in, in the second semester of 2015. So that information is going to be public, we're going to be published in our web page, and if there's some of the companies are interested, they can auction for that. And the third way is we have the national mining company, Enami, that they have a portfolio of, of projects that they are working with, and they're, they're, they're looking for, for partners, joint ventures, of, or different kind, uh, kinds of associations. So uh, for many of the Australian companies, they can also look through the ENAMI to work with them in a, in a joint venture and either go for one of the projects they have or, or search for, for, a, for a new area that, that might be interesting. We are completely open. I mean, we are, we are open for business. We are searching for, for, for investment. So we believe that uh, uh, any Australian company that would like to, to invest in Ecuador is going to be welcome and that we're going to work very closely to them to make things happen and to make the, the proper environment for their investment.